What is going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing a restoration video of this big mouth billy bass singing fish. So today we are going to be showing you guys how to replace the gears to get the tail, head, and mouth movement working again if you have one or all of those movements non-working, as well as how to clean a very dirty skin as you can see. This fish does actually work. But as you can see, the head has a ticking noise. This one, I just fixed this one. Smooth gear noise. This one is not smooth, this one ticks. We are going to remove the six screws on the bottom of the plaque. So when I remove the back, I pull the stand out and I remove the back of the plaque from the fish. Here is the inside. Um, our next step is going to remove the six screws on the back of the, that holding the head motor in to the head gear box. Okay, once you do that, pull the bracket off. And then we're going to want to remove the head motor. So what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna push on the front side of the fish, push that motor out to reveal this screw right here. There we go. And this one. Now you will Come on. Give it up. There we go. Now you're going to remove the head motor. It's kind of tricky to do sometimes. Someone, some are in tighter than others. This one's in pretty tight. Something really tight, actually. There we go. And then this gear is bad. If you know the gear is bad, because it'll slide right off. And you won't have to apply that much force to it to slide it off. So now you're gonna wanna take these little, the silver parts off the pegs. Slide, pull the fabric through the other side, and then tilt it sideways, or you can go this way. Actually, I like to go this way. To take the fish through. Oh, these two are still on. And then the fish goes through. It's not going in. There we go. All right, so when you do that, I go ahead and close up the flag and I put it on its on the front here. All right. So now, what, to, what, we're wanna, what we want to do now is we want to separate the head and the tail. To do that, we need to separate the tail gearbox from the rest of the uh, from the head gearbox. So we're going to take apart this screw, this screw, and the corresponding two on this side. The other one's hidden by the foam, but up, you can kind of see it there. now the tail assembly slides off and you're gonna want to peel that through the rubber take that off the rubber here so what I do is give me a hard time here so I go like this there is foam attached on either side so I just peel the rubber off 
like so. And the tail module slides out. That was the head motor. There we go. It's back on. I don't know how that came off. Let's deal with that later. All right, so here's your tail piece. So now what we want to do is we want to remove the skin. Now, there's multiple ways to do this, but I personally, the way that I like to do it is I like to unbolt the mechanism that goes to the eyes. So what I do is I go in here, I go all the way. I have to go kind of deep, kind of stretch the skin a bit, kind of put it around there. And I want to get to the eye sockets. So there, this is the mouthpiece. This is the eye socket. And this is the screw I want. As you can see, it's kind of hard to get to it, but this is just how I do it. If your fish isn't too dirty, you don't need to do this. Oh shoot, it turned on. Right, that's one side. Now give me the other side. This, is, this part can be tricky if you use the same method, but and there's the other one. All right. So when you do that, what you do, you hold the head, you lift the eyes up, and slide it out. All right, so now we have our mechanism here. This here is the mouth, this is the head, and that's the tail. So once you, once you have them off here, replacing the ears is pretty simple. So let's start with the mouth. Mouth motor's right here. You can do this while the skin's still on too, by the way, you just have to stretch the skin to access the motor. Pull the motor out. This gear has, I see 10 teeth on that gear. Slide that motor out, or slide it off the motor. Again, you see how easily I slid that off? That's because the gear's broken. Let's get a brand new 10 tooth on there. All right, there we go. Looks pretty good to me. Fit it on here. All right. Screws are back on. There we go, there's the mouth. All right, so the tail is next. Same exact deal. There's our motor. You just pull the foam back here. And I believe the tail is also, shoot. I believe the tail is also a 10 tooth gear. This is another tricky one to pull off. There we go. So let's see how easy this one comes off. Oh, this one's actually, this one actually might be fine, but Yeah, I, I'm gonna replace it anyways, cause for the sake of the video, but I guess it wasn't, I thought it was split, but maybe it's not. Cause that was pretty hard to pull off by, by myself. All right, but now it'll sound even better probably. But if you have a tail that you can tell it just barely moves or doesn't move as much as it should, then yeah, you're gonna wanna replace that. And it really doesn't wanna go in. Oh, there it goes. And then while we're in here, just cause we're on the topic of replacing the, the, the gears here, the head motor is right here. This one actually takes nine tooth instead of 10. So here's nine tooth instead of 10 for the head. 
Um, this is a longer shaft. So what I like to do is I like to push it on and then take one of these, the little, where the plaque is, the holes where the plaque is, and just kind of press down to about halfway. And then throw it in there and see if it works. So this obviously is really hard to push in, or mine in, in this case is, but. Nice smooth sound. So that means that if that's fixed, we're gonna take that out because I, I, you don't put the head motor in until you reassemble it. So now mechanically it's restored, but we still have a dirty skin to clean. So I'm going to cut the video and go up to my bathroom where we're gonna clean the skin. So there are a number of ways to clean the skin, but I'm gonna show you how I clean my skins. Um, what I do is first I, Fill the sink with water. Put some soap in there. Like it does anything. And then just lightly scrub it with a Clorox wipe. Just, this is a light scrub. This is to get surface, or surface dirt off. You can already see it starting to come off. Especially on this front side here, it's really bad. Just look at that water, it's brown now. So drain that, rinse it off here. It already looks better, but we're not quite done yet. So wait for this to drain here. So now, throw this away, this is dirty. And I grab another clear Clorox wipe and I'm going to go a little deeper now. To really get in these, these grooves. Like I, I like to stretch the skin out a little bit so I can get inside. And it already looks like night and day difference. And I haven't even doing, been doing this for that long. What I also like to do is I like to go like this. This underneath should be completely white. Should not be any brown or anything. Especially the mouth. Mouths can get dirty too if you let them. Even inside the mouth. It's really good to get them wet like this, get them moisturized for the first time in however long. And just really just focus on those areas that are visible where you can really see the, like right here. See how that's not completely white right here? That's dirt. And then, like I said, I go like this to get under. at that. So now that it's done, I rinse it off again. Drain it here. And then we dry it. Just kind of take them, wrap it like this.
So obviously you want to get inside. So what I do is I just take my finger and I just kind of dig in there to those hard to get like this gill or this fin right here. This one just lightly. You don't have to get it perfect. Let this dry for a little while before reassembly, but this is what you can do to make the process a little quicker. It's definitely wet on the top of the head. And definitely in the tail. And the cloth will dry on its own. Don't worry about the cloth, really. That'll dry on its own. Alrighty, so before we reassemble it, I like to clean the plaque just so, same way I clean the fish, but just because I don't want it to get dirty because I just cleaned the fish. I don't want the fish to get dirty again. So I wipe this down really good. I don't know what this is. It's disgusting though. What I like to do is I dust inside the sensor. Because it can get dirty in there too. No one notices it, but it does. Especially along the edges. And this is easier to do once you reassemble it, but like still. So just give it a light clean, so that way I can put this on without worrying about it getting dirty again. All right, so what I do now for the, to deal with the eye sockets is I just grab them. I just straight up pull this whole piece back so you can see those eyes right there. Like that. Take the mouth, put the mouth in. lost the shoot like that get the mouth in and oh, come on there we go so I'm gonna hold this so I get one screw and I can get the other in fine All right, that's in. Now we have a deformed fish. What I do now is I guide it in. I just pull the skin through into the bottom here, over the motor. And one more thing that I like to do is I hate how these eyes melt like this. I literally just trim around that. Not many people do this, but it personally drives me crazy and I hate it, so. I just do away with it. If you do do this though, make sure you do it like even because it'll look really bad if you don't, but it will look better.
And then the other one needs it too. The other one's even worse, I think. And then just smooth out these problem areas here. Yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know anyone who does this, but me personally, it just drives me crazy and I hate it so much, so. Yeah, look at how much better that looks. There's no gooey mess around it. Okay, so now we put the tail in. Tail is pretty straightforward. Make sure it's in the right way. The way you know it's in the right way is because when you fling it, it'll go to this side. That's the side you want to put it in. And then once you get one screw in, the rest are pretty easy. Make sure that wire is not in the way there. Should have gone for the underside. Underside's easier apparently. Now we're going to slide it back through the, the flag. All right, so what I do for this part is I like to get the fabric in first. This, this part is kind of tricky. I'm not gonna lie. I just get it in and then get this. See, I, I like to put, I put it at an angle, it's easier. And then slide it into place this part also is tricky if you get unlucky so I push the head out and I grab the cloth from underneath to try to get it to come a little closer these two bottom ones are really off honestly this part too I wouldn't even do this yet I'm just, I just am getting out of the way with, because it's easier to do this once you put the head motor back on and do that, it's really straightforward. You just, it's not fun. No, shoot, bro. All right, so this just turned into another repair. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna deal with that once I get it in. I think I can, I think I can work around that actually. All right, that's on. So this just, as you can see, kind of got messed up, but I'm actually gonna work around it and get this motor to work still. But like, normally they're not this hard to get in and out for the head motors. This one was just, for whatever reason, way more difficult than it needed to be. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do to solve this problem. I'm gonna take an extra wire. I'm going to solder it. My soldering iron's on to one end of this. Now, 
I'm going to attempt to get some solder in here. that one ready to go. Alright, I think it worked. <laughs> so you know it worked because the head goes down slow. If it didn't, it would slam on the plaque. Okay. So now that that's out of the way with, let's get back to what we wanted to do. Alrighty, so here is the fish fully restored. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and now your fish should work like this. Yeah.